This gentleman is undefeated in 15 professional bouts with 11 knockouts. From New Orleans, Louisiana, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Melvin, the Tank Paul. Is undefeated in 17 professional bouts with 10 knockouts. From New York City, New York, the North American Boxing Federation lightweight champion, boxing fans, here is Hector Macho Camacho. You know all the rules and regulations, let's keep it straight. Both of you touch gloves, touch gloves, both of you. Good luck. By the World Boxing Council, as a super featherweight, 130 pounds, number six in the world in that division by Ring Magazine. Paul is ranked number 19 as a lightweight by the WBC. Winning amateur career, national AAU champion in 1978, also the 78 and 1980. Saw briefly here on CBS a couple of weeks back, up and coming lightweight. National TV. With his confidence in his fight. More boxing action tomorrow, live from McAfee. And Melvin Paul has been in with some of the best amateurs in the world. At the uh, Sands Hotel here, David Brenner is today. Camacho in pink and Paul in white. Paul trying to corner Camacho in the corner. In the tank, the tank, the tank's going to win. I think if Camacho was in another hotel, he would have heard him. His right, which he said there was a southpaw. Just keep circling. It's a work of art. There he comes. It's right over to his right. He's gone. I can see where he gets that nickname tank. He's strong. He just landed it. To make the other fella miss, you have to hit him too. Now Camacho. I am too. I am too. Hector Camacho from New York City, Melvin Paul from New Orleans. Colorful he is in every way. Tim, there was another example just then. He, they said, tie him up. Don't let him hit you with anything. But he again, he has to land some punch in Camacho. Keep it up. Good combination scored by Camacho. Rays still lives in Manhattan. Managed and trained by Billy Guy. There's those patent seconds to go. Round three. Then Percy Pugh, who was a great fighter himself, and, and, and Reynolds was very, very confident before the fight. He said, I don't... Billy Giles, Sam Thibodeau, Tony Tompkins, and Camacho's corner. As Camacho went to a corner, he can't try to figure him out because... He tried it that time. Solid right hand by... A lot to him as he has in previous fights. And it may be that he's half ration, perhaps. Melvin Paul is a strong, well-constructed young man, Tim. There's 30 seconds to go. You mentioned he was a national AAU champion. Fought a lot of the very best amateurs to win that title. Good round for him as he lands being Hector Macho Camacho in pink. Melvin Paul in white. And a good fourth round for Melvin Paul as we saw. Are you all right? Are you tired? Everything all right? And Camacho answers, no, I'll be all right. will be a station break at the end of this fifth round. Camacho continues to box and close. Haven't been in with any ranked fighters or any have been in the New Orleans area. Camacho landed a left hand. This is clear. Melvin Paul is confident, poised, and right there. He is like a little tank, Tim. He anchors himself. He has pretty good balance. Now Camacho lands a combination and drives Paul back in. Combination landed back. 30 seconds to go in the fifth round. Seconds or so in this fifth round. Four boxing action. Round six from Atlantic City after these words.
first from your local station. Council. Check it out. Excuse me. There is Melvin Paul, who so far has been through five. This is round number four. Live from the Sands Hotel in Atlantic City. You have to come back and land the other one if you want to dominate the fighter. Paul, on the other hand, has had trouble rounds, keeping the pressure on nonetheless. Scoring points, which is, I guess, what this game is all about. Again, Paul just a little short. He got a piece of that punch. Then he got hurt. Good right hand. He got hurt. He too. paid for it. As Camacho counter punch. He's got Paul in trouble. But Paul punches back. Plenty of spirit, Paul. Left hand scored by. <laughs> at 130 pounds, has had difficulty getting him, fighting lightweight. Oh, good left hand. Getting to the end of round number six. We'll be back with more boxing action live after these words from your local stations. Get that right hand in. Now back in the action from round number six. You saw... Fight. Just get yourself back together again. Round seven scheduled for ten. Back in February against Jorge Nina. Number eight round. What Camacho continues to do is move the way he's moving to his right, making Paul miss, and he just passed. Melvin Paul, on the other hand, has had two decision victories in his last four bouts. Camacho put. Camacho has also mastered that. Under a minute to go in the seventh round. Camacho right now is in complete control. He's landing enough. Other one even. That's our view, of course. Back to the body that he landed with then. Final seconds. A big grin. And out he came for round eight. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, live on CBS Sports Saturday. More boxing action tomorrow featuring Leon. He's doing just about anything he wants to do with Paul. Right? It's just about now become a boxing lesson. And doing anything he wants to do right now. Camacho's last tactic, getting off that break. Trying to get a clean break. Straight left hand. Paul finally landed a good straight right hand. Camacho going to the body in that last... Hector Camacho, frustrating experience, scheduled 10 rounder. You see, he want to rest. Don't let, don't let him. Don't you rest. Stop banging him to the body. Billy Giles advising Hector to start banging him to the body. Camacho in pink. Camacho was one that I really mean it. Now let's stop doing that. I just hope that it's not necessary with the skill he has. Camacho man. Wife and young attempted pressure by Paul usually ends with Camacho spinning away from the action. Oh, Paul, forget about all that stuff. He landed a good left, but he can do anything he wants. Oh, right. Right. Oh, there he is. Left landed. Good combination landing. It's just that Camacho is boxing in high gear. Oh, and Hector Camacho touched gloves. Tim out of the way. And between rounds, Frank Cappuccino went over and said, don't do that again. All this stuff is silly on Camacho's part. He has so much talent. We've seen uh, today uh, some frustration on, on referee Cappuccino on that ninth round. To do, he's showing his terrific boxing skills. Are you unknown as knockout point. What you usually do is outsmart the other fighter. I mean, he stopped his share, but it was mostly on accumulation. Yet Camacho with a healthy lead was given. Then we're in the tenth round of a fight, and neither fighter has really taken a deep breath. Both in good condition. Come on, come on again. Right hand lead by Paul was. Let's go. Let's go. 
Under a minute remaining. A wheel damp. Now coming up. a solid punch. And there's the bell ending round number 10. Let's go right to Brent Musburger of New York. A unanimous decision. And the winner and still undefeated. Consecutive victory without defeat. All right, Brent, back to you again in New York.